Uh, really quickly before this video starts, I really just wanted to tell everyone to just go ahead and buy the editing pack. It is the ultimate editing pack for DaVinci Resolve. It's in the description. First link and it's absolute best editing pack for DaVinci Resolve. If you're watching this and if you're learning how to edit as a beginner or intermediate or even a pro, the pack will definitely help you out. Uh, as it does, it definitely helped me out and the presets in there are absolutely insane. Um, right now, you guys are watching the um, montage example that that was edited with the editing pack and it's just absolutely insane. So yeah, just go ahead and buy that and yeah, let's get the video rolling. Bad. She down on my back, she like living fast, she wanna fall with me cause we getting I hit that bitch Hey what's up guys, welcome back to a new video, today I'm gonna be showing you how to do a mass glow effect Uh, I got this requested in my, uh, uh, in my plugin pack server and some, some person requested for it, so here I am doing it Uh, if you got the editing pack and join the discord server and request some stuff, uh, I'll usually do it if I know how to and I'll usually make a tutorial on it. So yeah, let's get straight into the mass glow effect that you already saw. So first thing you want to do, you want to do a special... Uh, you want to find a clip where, uh, where the enemy is in frame for a long time. For like, for example, here. And is not covered up by your own character. So for the character... For the, the enemy, for example, is right here. And he's not in front of my character. So I can see... Oh, the enemy, right? So you want want this kind of clip, and then you also want the uh, enemy to be walking for a tad bit, or be in frame for a bit. And you don't you don't really want like fast editing because that'll just result in like a kill that's too quick, and you know you won't be able to see the character in for a long time. So yeah, now that you found that kind of clip, uh, there's some special retime settings for it. So yeah, let's get straight into those. So first thing you want to do is you want to find the shot where he gets hit, and then the siphon appears here. So yeah, I'm gonna use this frame. I'm gonna control R, and then I'm gonna add a speed point right here. And then what we're gonna do is gonna go left ten frames. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're gonna go ahead and add another speed point. I go back to the middle. You go right 10 frames 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then you're going to add another keyframe or another speed point. And then you're just going to go to the leftmost speed point over here and you're going to go left 25 frames 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. And then you're just going to go ahead and add speed point here. And then you're going to go to the rightmost uh, speed point here, and then you're going to go right 15 frames. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then you're going to add another speed point here. And so so this is going to leave you with four subsections. So subsection 1, section 2, section 3, and section 4. And what we're going to do is you're going to make the first section change that speed to 50. Second section change the speed to 200 third you also want to change that to 200 you can do 200 or 400 depending on the clip but i usually just do 200 and 200 for the fourth fourth uh for the fourth section you want to change that to 50. so this is how it's going to look so this audio looks uh sounds glitched right now because there's no uh there's no what's it called there's no music behind it, but usually, uh, if you go ahead and press lock before changing any of those things, it'll work. But I don't really do that because one, I'm lazy, and two, it messes up the audio syncing. So yeah, if you if you have music over it, then I really don't find uh, the locking useful. So yeah, there's the retime. Uh, it obviously slows down for a bit. Uh, this this is gonna help us uh, put a mass glow on it for a few frames, and then make the mass glow actually visible. So, and then over here is just a regular retime, just speeds up, and then boom. So yeah, pretty clean there. And next, what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to the frame that he gets hit on the siphon, which is the middle speed point here. Oh, uh, just go ahead and zoom that in. Go to the middle keyframe, you're gonna press M on it, and it's gonna mark. And then you're just gonna sync that up with the music. Boom. And just go ahead and extend out the clips to the music. So yeah. That's pretty clean. That the music also fits the B drop for that song also fits this clip because there's that weird sound effect. You know that I don't. I don't really know how to explain it, but you can hear it, and then it fits with the slow mo. All right. So after we're done with the retime, all right. So after we're done with the retime, we're gonna go into fusion. 
and then we're just gonna go ahead and add s underscore glow and then uh this doesn't look too good so i'm gonna load in my own preset here and then i'm gonna also change the brightness to 10 so it doesn't really matter what preset you have but you really just want the brightness to be 10 and threshold to be negative uh, neg uh threshold to be zero and then here are some of the settings I changed. I changed the glow width up a little bit. I don't know what else I changed. I don't think I changed that much. But yeah, you just want to end up with this kind of glow that is over the entire screen. And then what we're going to do with that, we're going to add a polygon. So now the polygon is here, you can see that the glow is completely gone. So what we're going to want to do is you're going to go basically go to the frame where the character where the enemy starts to be in frame. So we're going to start with this frame, and what we're going to do is just, just going to make a mask around it. It doesn't have to be too good. It really doesn't. So, yeah, I'm just going to make a really, really rough mask. We're not going to refine this either because it's literally just a like a blob of glow. That doesn't matter what shape it is. And we're just going to let, let it load, and then boom, there we go. We see the glow, and if you unselect this, you can see that that looks absolutely terrible and the edges are terribly looking so what we're gonna do is change the soft edge up a tad and then boom look at that that looks pretty good oh i don't really like the pink glow i think i'm gonna change that to blue that's what i did um so yeah a blue glow looks pretty clean and then you're just gonna go ahead and select the polygon you're gonna change it for each frame so yeah here the character moves a tad bit so we're just gonna go ahead and move the entire mask out around here and then three oh the character moves again I'm just gonna move the mask up to there don't worry about the keyframing uh the davinci does the keyframing by yourself and then you just want this to be selected and every time you move it it'll set a new keyframe here so don't you don't really have to worry about that and then it keeps on moving and here the character gets bigger so we're just gonna go ahead and change a few things around like that and that and then you can just go ahead and select everything again and then move it again and boom so yeah that's pretty nice so like after the character dies, you obviously don't need the mask to be there anymore. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna keyframe it on the siphon frame, which is this frame, and then you're gonna go right one frame from the siphon frame, and you're gonna turn the level to zero, so that the mask is completely just gone. And then you're gonna do the same thing for the first frame too. So before the character walks in, you're gonna go ahead and keyframe this, and then you're gonna go one frame before the character walks in. Uh, you're gonna go. You're going to basically find where the key character isn't visible, and then you're just going to go to put the level to zero. And then when the character does walk in, you're just going to put the level to one. So yeah, there we go. So we can kind of see the mask. I don't know if my, my computer can render this, but we kind of just see the mask here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and play back in, uh, play back in quarter resolution. So yeah, you can see the character kind of just... Uh, Yeah, you can see the character being glowed up, and then after the shot hits, it just disappears. So that's pretty good. So next thing you're going to do is you're going to copy and paste this uh, polygon, and you're just drag it out here. So it should be the same exact polygon with all the keyframes. <clears throat> and next, what you're going to do is add in a color corrector. And then you're just going to add that in. Put that in here, and then you're going to put the saturation down. You're gonna put the uh, gain down as well, a tad bit, so that it just looks darker. You don't want to put the gain down that much, but you just kind of want to mess with it so that it looks darker, you know. And then we're gonna do is you're gonna copy the polygon on here and you select the polygon. And you're gonna click invert, so that that means that the polygon will be the only part that is not affected by the color character, but the entire screen will be affected by the color character. So yeah, and then you just want to go back to this first frame. And then you can see the effect here. All right, so here's the thing. Uh, after you copy and paste it, the before there's no. Uh, so yeah, you can kind of see the effect again. So basically, when the blue starts glowing, uh, the entire uh, the entire color character is dark. So you can see that 
boom and then after the shot hits it turns bright again so you could also make it so that the color corrector fades in because i don't really like how this just immediately turns into dark and so what we're going to do is we're going to make it so that the key uh so that so that the level keyframe eases in so we're going to do is just gonna go ahead a few frames into here you're going to select the keyframe here and then you're going to put the level to zero you're going to go to the next keyframe where the level is zero and you just unselect that so how it's going to look it's going to go the level is going to go from around like a, f a little bit into the clip and then it's going to ease in and then the level is going to become uh one uh and then it's gonna, everything's going to be dark so that's how it's going to look and then if you want to you can add a uh, s underscore vintage as well um this vintage basically gives the edges like a kind of glow kind of glare thing that makes the edges even darker and then I don't really know. I don't, I've never really used this, but yeah, this looks fine, honestly. So yeah, pretty much. Uh, next thing what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and add in a new glow. All right. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to add in a new glow. So you're going to add in the S underscore glow. And this time you're going to add in the actual glow. And uh, I'm just going to go find the frame where everything turns yeah back to normal. And then, oh yeah, basically, uh, for the, uh, for the vintage, you also want a keyframe so that when the frame, go, everything goes back to normal, the vintage wants to disappear as well. So, so you're just gonna help, go ahead and do uh rate, go ahead to the settings tab and use blend, and then when everything turns back to normal, you're gonna put the blend to zero. So that's pretty nice. And then the for s underscore score glow, I'm gonna use my own preset for this one here and these are the settings for it on um, these this is a really basic lmgk glow so yeah that's pretty nice i guess i'm gonna change the color to blue once again so that everything looks normal and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in an eclipse ellipse my bad oh uh, you're gonna add in an ellipse mass so that um the glow doesn't isn't like for the entire thing what you're gonna do is you're just gonna go ahead and add make it so that this you're gonna go ahead and keyframe uh these three things on the ellipse and then you're just gonna go ahead and move the ellipse around and make the size tiny and then you're gonna keyframe it on these three frames as well and then you these frames are fine and then you just need to go keep on going forward and then you just don't want to decide when the ellipse wants to end so yeah maybe this frame the ellipse ends which is pretty nice and you're just gonna go ahead and put the width and height all the way to max so that yeah there we go you don't want to put it to too big so you just basically you want to make it so that uh the edges are as close to the um mask as possible uh the edges are as close to the rectangle thing here as possible you want to make it so that the edges of the circle are as close to the edges of this as possible and yeah this is basically it so the, the, this ellipse absolutely looks terrible. So for this exponential graph, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to make it so that it looks like this instead of that. So, so you want it to grow fast and then ease into a slow growth. So this basically is what you want it to be looking at. And then we're just going to render this again again. So yeah, you can see there that glow just spreads. Uh, it's kind of hard to see because it's so fast, but you can see that glow just kind of spread everywhere. Oh, yeah. Boom. And then there's... Yeah, that's pretty nice. Honestly, is isn't exactly what the people on my server asked for, but this is kind of like the concept of how to get a mask uh, around, like... A mask on a glow and then how to like tr motion track it and everything um if you guys really need any help just go ahead and ask deathly till i think he knows how to do that kind of body glow but i don't know how and this is the best i can do and it basically is the same i don't i don't know so yeah that's pretty much it for this video uh, i hope this helped you out and i hope this answered your questions and if it did just leave a like subscribe and peace out guys